It is known to all that the sword is a beautiful traditional weapon, and numerous personalities from across the DC Universe appear to approve. In a realm where everything from heat vision to super speed is utilized, swords are however beneficial. From fighters to assassins to punishers, the sword has also been utilized by many iconic idols and sinners. Some utilize them as their major spear, while others can certify their sword mastery with other forms of war. This can either be through military, arts, or superpowers. However, a designated few have substantiated their capacities with the sword. Let's look at the 10 of the most impressive sword fighters in the DC Universe. Number 10. Ra's al Ghul Ra's al Ghul is around 600 years old and all thanks to the Lazarus Pit. He has evolved to be someone not that unique from Batman in that duration. The two of them are champions of martial arts but Ra's al Ghul proudly grasped his swordsmanship and that activity would depart onto Damian Wayne, his grandson. It is known that Ra was the one who constructed the League of Assassins in the early spot. Several amateurs established the group and since they all substantiate to be difficulties for the Bat family, that indicates how beneficial Raish is. Moreover, he generally is a puppet champion, but when he wants to, Raish has been verified to be a danger to most with his blade. Number 9. Lady Shiva very few people in the DC Comics are more competent in combat than Lady Shiva and incorporated with how terrible she can be. This makes her an unstable personality. She is one of the elite murderers and with her double swords, so she frequently departs piles of bodies for idols to discover. Shiva has taken up Deathstroke and even her daughter Cassandra Cain. And not to mention the numerous partners of the Bat family. Even if she misses, her swordsmanship ability vacates her adversaries, accusing that they battled her. Lady Shiva was developed precisely as a mix of various Eastern civilizations to be a foil to the further conventional American heroes. She is remembered to have triumphed in several martial arts, including Kung Fu, Jiu Jitsu, Judo, Sabate, Wing Chun, Capoeira, Eskrima, Karate, Aikido, and Kobudo. Number 8. The Black Manta Black Manta or David Hyde is a champion of tight fighting, blending his abilities as a mercenary with his high-tech costume. Moreover, he is recognized for the dual-wielding quick swords that he utilizes when he fights Aquaman. He is barely a male in a costume, but he constantly learns a path to make Aquaman percolate. These similar abilities are what received him a space on the Suicide Squad. Black Manta's swordsmanship would even endure to his son Jackson. Jackson is the one who would become Aqualad. He is frequently seen shaping swords out of the water, utilizing his hydrokinesis. He is known for his ray-shaped helmet and is more threatened than any human. He doesn't have any superpowers, but his sharp mind and his capabilities with the blade certainly make him a great threat to Aquaman. Black Manta's costume and device pay for his several abilities. His costume puts forward his human manual capacities to superhuman statuses of strength and durability. These are both on land and underwater. His protection is camouflage black in the midst and provides him insulation. Moreover, he can inhale and exhale underwater indefinitely, ensuring himself against tension modifications. Number 7. Wonder Woman Everyone's favorite Wonder Woman exerted her bulletproof braces and the lasso of truth. Still, in contemporary DC Comics, Princess Diana has been reimagined to be better at the fighter than she presumed to be. So presently, she sports a blade and defense along with her conventional appliance. Wonder Woman is certainly one of the largely competent partners of the Justice League. Since she has no suspicions about assassinating her sinners, her swordsmanship incorporated with her demigoddess significance gives rise to her a force to be inferred with. Even Batman has called Wonder Woman the biggest combatant he's ever discerned. And this is the man that battled Lady Shiva. The woman is certainly one of the greatest inventions of DC superheroes. Number 6. Azrael the history of Azrael lies in the Order of Purity, a fragmented organization of the Order of Saint Dumas. It confers their chosen fighter with the Sword of Sin to accomplish their uneven journey to take supervision of Gotham City. As an outcome, any Azrael evolves into a champion of exerting the Sword of Sin as a way actually to regulate. 
Azrael is someone who has won against Batman in a battle. He regulates Gotham City and is a partner of Batman Incorporated, and he showcases that if he affects Batman, then he's worth remembering. Some of the weapons of Azrael are flaming swords, projectile blades, and flamethrowers. Number 5. Deathstroke Some very limited sinners can show off that they've won against Batman in a battle, numerous periods. Deathstroke, or Slade Wilson, is the greatly popular mercenary in the DC Universe, and this is certainly a reasonable justification. He constantly gets his victim. He is known to be fatal in all aspects of the battle and with almost any spear. His go-to spear is his blade, which he has utilized in combat to maim and even assassinate multiple skilled and or influential lives. He's remembered to have been compatible opponent to the Teen Titans. He combated Rash al Ghul and utilized his sword fighting to overthrow the Flash, which is not a small feat. Number 4. Katana It certainly makes a judgment that this idol is the best and that it's in her codename. The wielder of the Soul Taker Blade is Tatsu Yamashiro, a mysterious katana that steals and clasps the souls of its fatalities within. Tatsu Yamashiro, or Katana, is another idol who has competed against a few of the biggest sword combatants. Often Katana has battled Lady Shiva and unfortunately, that's a battle she constantly misses. However, that doesn't take away from how competent she is, eligible to divert shots with her sword fights. What enables is that Katana does not mind assassinating, nearly in an identical intellect to the Punisher. She thinks all fugitives have received casualty. The absence of reluctance enables her to overthrow most dangers, making her one of the members of the competent superheroes. Number 3. Cassandra Cain From the very starting, Cassandra Cain was known to be educated by her mother to be an excellent murderer. Cassandra seized all of her mother's proficiency as well as some of her father's, as he too was a murderer. As a result, Cassandra was also interested in swordsmanship, but she barely utilized a sword anymore. Nevertheless, Cassandra came out betraying her mother and evolved into one of the most competent combatants of the Bat family. She grasped her non-lethal wastes, and for that maximum portion, she averted blades, but that doesn't imply that she eased. The foe will be in distress if a circumstance yells for sword art. Number 2. Batman The famous Batman, or Bruce Wayne, motivated to be the Punisher he is now, triumphed over any aspect of battling he could appear. From historical martial arts to acquiring with Wildcat to refined boxing, Batman overthrew it all, encompassing sword fighting. One of his heroes as a kid was the masked hero Zorro. Batman doesn't utilize it frequently, but when he performs, he can utilize a blade with dignity and compassion. This proficiency with the sword is furthermore what enables him to beat back other sword combatants without ever wanting to pick up a blade. Batman understands all the actions himself, enabling him to foresee their motions beforehand. Batman is capable of being compared with heroes like Iron Man and Captain America of Marvel Comics. Certainly, the Marvel Universe also has some prominent heroes and villains. Number 1. Damian Wayne Each Bat Family partner has their chosen spear. Damian Wayne nearly entirely exerts a sword. Although he does come out fulfilling his father's hopes for non-lethal techniques, Damian Wayne was raised by the famous Ra's al Ghul, so that activity will never go away. Fortunately, that workout incorporated with more practice by Talia al Ghul and his father has given rise to him, the fatal addition of Robin to battle. His blade abilities had enabled him to win against Deathstroke and Lady Shiva before he was just a youngster. So these are the 10 most impressive sword fighters in the DC Universe. What is your favorite sword fighter in the DC Universe? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get more uploads like this and we will see you soon.